best podcast in Long Beach, California. This is Tacos and Workouts. What it is, what it is. Podcast. This is me, Little Hater, the best podcast in Long Beach. Check it out, dog. Today we're in my hometown. That, that's right. East LA, dog. <laughs> it's Day of the Dead. Let's check it out, dogs. <laughs> <laughs> so check it out, dog. I'm right here at the day of the dead. Dog. This got music. This got people. This got food. <laughs> I kind of want to do my comedy, dog, but I think they'd be scared. <laughs> Let's hear some of that music. Alright dog, worst fucking song ever dog, I hate that song dog, I hate it with passion dog, check it out dog, it's like the worst mariachi song ever dog, I love mariachi, but I just hate that song dog, you wanna be talking about La Llorona dog, you catch them in East LA on every Friday, Saturday and Sunday night dog, they'll be like coming out of cities in East LA and they'll be like all drunks, they're walking around without their shoes and they'll be like, I love my kids, that's like, like the Llorona like all the time dog. That's why I hate that song, dog. <laughs> <laughs> Check it out, dog. I found this lady right here. And I like the way you're dressed. You look lovely. <laughs> tell, tell, tell us who you is and tell us who, what you're doing here. Well, my name is Ana Pescador. I'm from the Community Outreach here at Catholic Cemeteries and Mortuaries of the Archdiocese. And we're celebrating this beautiful day, this beautiful tradition with our community in Calvary, with all these people gathering families to, to remind the loved ones who are no longer with us. That, that's true. Our loved ones are no longer with us. What does the Day of the Dead mean? Well, it's a beautiful tradition that it brings the uh, Aztec, the tradition, indigenous uh, traditions from Mexico and also South um, uh, Central America and our Catholic faith. So it means it's a day to remember those who are not longer with us in a beautiful way, not in a sad way, uh, to bring families together. It's, in, it's a beautiful event here at Cal uh, Calvary. Yeah, you know what? It, 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 it's I got I got a little sad like a little while ago. Cuz of the music, the music makes you want to like drink and it makes you want to like 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 but it's beautiful, dog. It's beautiful. So, uh how long has uh, Calvary Cemetery been doing this? We've been doing this for 9 years. And as you see the music, uh, we well, obviously we're not drinking today. Some of the families they bring the tequila, the cerveza for the loved ones, the mole. So, it is Day of the Dead, which is being with our loved ones uh, in a beautiful way. Okay, you know what? We want to thank you for your time. I know you're busy. You're doing a lot of things. I think this is one of the most beautiful events that I have ever been to. Thank you, and we los esperamos. Vengan. All right, check it out, dog. We have Joe with us, dog, from Homeboys Industry, dog. <laughs> All right, tell us who you are and tell us what you do. All right, what's up, man? My name is Joe. I work at Homeboys Industry. Former gang member, been in jail, been incarcerated. We're out here working on giving people a second and third chance. Came out here to support the Calvary Cemetery for Day of the Dead. Got a hot new merch coming out soon. Today, you could cop it firsthand right here at the Calvary the Calvary Cemetery. I'm very grateful to be right here with my boy. He out here hooking it up, making sure that the outside gets their support. Thank you, big dog. Hey, hey Doc, what does, what does Day of the Dead mean to you? Day of the Dead means to me where we pay our respects for those who have fallen and passed away. 
it's really it's really a, a time when we all come together as people and show our respects to our, our loved and our dead ones. That's how I see it. And how do you remember your 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 loved ones, Doc? Uh, me personally, before I used to drink, smoke to them. Now I just kind of keep it cool, keep it solid in recovery, and just keep pushing forward every day. That's beautiful, Docs. You know what, Doc? It, it's recovery is a good thing, and I think some people need it. But not to end in a, in a sad note, Doc, tell me a funny story or maybe about someone that has passed away like from yesteryear, Doc. Oh, man, uh, rest in peace, my big homie Pee Wee. Yeah, P. Uh, funny story about him is he would always jack me talking about it's for the hood, it's for the hood. And then eventually I became for the hood and he couldn't use that story no more. <laughs> it was for it was for his hood. <laughs> all right. Big shout out to to homeboy uh industries, uh Father Greg Boy, all right? Yes, sir. That, that's the guy? That's the man. <laughs> Big shout out to Homeboys Industries, dog. <laughs> <laughs> We're still at it here at the Day of the Dead. I'm right here with my friend Yvette. How are you liking it so far? Very good. Very nice. I love it. Every year. Hey, dog, this music's making me want to drink some Coronas a big time, dog. You know, it's getting me all up in my feelings, dog. I want to, like, drink me a bottle and everything, dog. But let's not think about sad things, dog. You know, what does Day of the Dead mean to you? Traditions, remembering family, cultura, and family and friends. All about the music. The events or traditions. Do you, you have any funny stories of a, of a past family member who who did something maybe a fun a funny memory of somebody's? Did you like to share with the with the with the programs? On um, right off the bat, no, I can't think of anything right off the bat. A funny tío, a funny tía. Always the funny tíos. My tío Simon, Simon, he always used to like, you know, chew his gum, and then he would put his gum behind his ear and leave it there for a minute, and then he would huh? like. Put it right back in his mouth when he was ready for it. <laughs> Why would he do that, dog? That, that doesn't make sense to me. And he had, like, long hair, too. But he would do it, and I was like, what? I was like, okay, but, yeah. All right, let's give him a shout-out. Eh? A big shout-out to your tío, Simon. Simon Alvarez. All right, Simon. Big shout-out to you wherever you are, man. We're right here remembering you, dog. Yep. Yeah, we are. Mm -hmm. Thank you for your time. No problem. Thank you. <laughs> We're back at it again, dog, with, with our friend Chantel. Hey, I love those earrings, dog. Thank you. My partner got them for me. Oh, hey, big shout out to her partner, who's a little embarrassing, and he doesn't want to come out on the podcast. He's a little shy. <laughs> He's a little shy. <laughs> How you liking the event? It's beautiful. Yeah, I was a little emotional when I first got here, but it's it's so gorgeous seeing the community out here, and I think that's what made me feel a little strong to walk around. Hey, hey, you was getting a little sad, too? Little uh, I was getting a little sad, too, dog. Yeah. I was. What does Day of the Dead mean to you? I think it means being strong for the family that's still here. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. Look, look at look, look at our people over there. They want to look at you, Doug. <laughs> um, it's about just being strong for family that is still here and remembering those that have passed and just knowing that they are not gone and they're still in our memory and keeping their memory strong. So I think that's really what it means to me. Do you have a funny stories of, of a past family members? That, that, that you want to share with us? Yeah, sure. I always think about uh, my tío Chavelo. He always used to have, like, you know, the dimple glass uh, where you pour beer? Yeah. He would only ever pour two things in there. He would either drink beer in that cold cup or drink milk in the cold cup. And that's what I will always remember about him. So I want to put, like, a dimple glass um, on the altar that we have at home. Oh, and what's his name? Chavelo? Yeah, Chavelo. <laughs> oh, man, big shout-out to Chavelo, man. Chavelo. Forever. <laughs> eh, 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 eh. Why is it we always remember the tios? I don't know. They have a, a strong impression <laughs> in our life, I guess. Hey, the tios are always the funny guys, huh? That's right. They're the homies. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, thank you for your time. <laughs> and uh, keep on enjoying the event, dog. Huh? Yeah, thank you so much. <laughs> All right, dogs, that's all the time we have for today, dogs. We had some fun. We listened to some music. We got a little bit of sand. I got to go drink them Coronas, dog. <laughs> all right, dog. since uh, people were sharing, dog, I'm going to share with you too, dog. And you're going to mess up my shot again. It's all right, dog. I'm not here. I'm invisible, dog. <laughs> I'm only the loudest guy here, dog. <laughs> all right, check it out, dog. So back to my pops, dog. Tiny hater, dog. The taco king of East L.A., dog. The best tacos around. People used to come from everywhere just to eat the tacos, dog. And he used to, like, break pranks on people. So one time he put a chile 
And I talk when he gave it to a dog, dog. And the dog didn't like that dog. Then Chilo. And my mom tells him, hey, dog, why'd you do that? And he goes, because everybody needs to enjoy a taco with chile, dog. And with that said, dog, we're going to leave you this time, dog. <laughs> Don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Hey, what's the problem, dog? <laughs> everybody doesn't see me. How loud do I have to be, dog? <laughs> All right, guys. Subscribe to the channel, dog. And go to my comedy show. Ha, 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 ha.